Well, um, the first thing I would like to say is that the, the numerical simulation of blood flow in the cardiac cavities is, is still at a rather, rather early stage of development, so uh, we have many questions open from the modeling point of view. Uh, so, in particular, I'm, I'm thinking about contact of the leaflets. Um, we, we know that the common models are not able to reproduce contact uh, uh, as we see physically, so uh, there are many open things on that side. And then from the numerical point of view, um, there is also uh, uh, many things to do on the uh, development of numerical methods, in particular with unfitted meshes. Uh, there are many difficulties and uh, one thing that I would like to say is that uh, numerical methods do not like singularities. Uh, and when you have contact, basically you are breaking a domain in two domains. This is quite a singular thing and so uh, I think this is one of the of the uh, main uh, uh, tricky points that we have to face if we want to simulate really physiological uh, simulations of, uh, of blood flow in the heart. And this is the, is the first step towards something which is then patient specific. Okay. Uh, target drug therapy means to uh, really deliver the drug where it is needed, okay, so it's uh, to, to uh, really minimize the side effects. And so uh, uh, this is a, a quite uh, a new approach, which is still under development. The, the idea is that you have to have a container for the drug. And this container, in, in, in most of the situations, is an elastic micro capsule, so we are at the, at the scale of the microns. And so if you want to deliver, you put the drug in your, this container, you have to understand the properties, mechanical properties of this, uh, of this uh, elastic container, so the micro capsule, uh, in order to be able to transport the drug to the organ and then to break up to deliver the, the drug. Okay? So from the mathematical point of view, even though it, can, it may be not seem so clear, it's very close to valves because valves are elastic, when they close, they cut the domain, the fluid domain, so there is a change in topology. Uh, microcapsules are elastic, and when they break up, it's like when valves open. Okay? So, the method that we are developing for cardiac valves uh, could be really used in the, for, for the uh, development of uh, target drug therapy, yes. Well, uh, let me start ask, uh, asking, oh sorry, answering this question from the last point. So I think a patient specific is going to depend also on the data that we are available uh, because uh, we can have identifiable problems and uh, we need uh, sufficient data to fit the models, okay? And then related to uh, pharmacokinetics, I think it's also a problem uh, and, and safety pharmacology, so try to uh, to understand how or predict how molecules that are under study to, to treat a certain pathology, uh, to understand the toxicology of this uh, toxicity of this uh, of this uh, uh, molecules uh, can be uh, enhanced. Or I think numerical models are starting to uh, play a role in this. And uh, uh, for instance. Uh, in cardiac toxicity, so toxicity of molecules, so molecules that are going to impact the behavior of the heart. There is now a, a, an agreement that numerical tools or new methods are needed to, uh, to uh, enhance the way that we select molecules to, uh, to treat a pathology and, and how we balance the toxicology, I mean the toxicity and the, and the, uh, and the good effects.